to the knowledge of what exists. But, for example, this conference uh, or, a, 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 or any conference in research, if, so let me just tell you, if a conference which is stated to be a research platform, if you go and tell this is what has been done by this person did this, etc., etc., and you submit a paper, that paper will not be accepted. So therefore now, what is the second kind of research? Which is what we use at PhD level research, beyond PhD. Any other thoughts? I need some answers before I progress. I am willing to wait. We have only half an hour, so you can, we can waste as much time as we want. Discover, so just say a little bit more, discover. All right. Discover new ideas, new thoughts, yes. All right, not, not bad, yeah. To find a solution for a task which is related to technology. So, all right, so you're saying engineering research to find a solution for a task related to a technology. For a task related to a technology, all right? Research on uh, what is happening, uh, what are problems and find solutions. So, problems and find solutions, all right. So, let's just start with this few things. Anybody wants to take something else? You can think about it, you just intuitively, what do you think is research? New ideas? Uh, solutions to problems and uh, you also said solutions to problems in the engineering world. Okay, so let's say, let's take a complex engineering problem of building um, um, a better cell phone or, or just, you know, and you build it. Is that research? paper that I mentioned also has what a good research paper therefore should contain in its writing. Okay, the contribution, the question is answered. Why is it that anybody should care? What is the new result? What's the new knowledge? Uh, you know, how is it different, better, and what evidence are you providing? Uh, and as everyone in the field would realize that abstract and title are the most important, is the, and they should clearly explain what this, what is your problem you're working on, what's your contribution, and what type of evidence you provide. The rest should all be detailed. All right, so now let me just shift to what are the main areas in software engineering? Again, since you're not in this, uh, most of you not in this area, I'm just going to move on, but this is what we picked out from, uh, from this main conference in software engineering. But the thing to look at is, um, is these, these are the top categories where people are submitting papers. So this may be of more interest. Software testing and analysis is the largest number of papers submitted. Tools and development environments, empirical software engineering, software architecture, reverse engineering, and software dependability. So dependability is reliability and availability. So this is just out of this major conference where the submissions that people make gives an idea of where the research community is, where are they working. So the largest number of submissions are in software testing. So presumably that's where the largest number of researchers are applying themselves. But, uh, these things. Otherwise, most likely they just not be interested in recruiting someone. <coughs> Again, if the work is good, then, then there is tons of opportunity. There is postdocs across the world. There is a shortage across the world, but of good people. When I said the number 30, 40 PhDs, I actually didn't count so many that also happen. I'm saying 30, 40 decent PhDs. I would imagine there's probably 200 PhDs. I'm sure, uh, uh, I'm sure there is many universities you can find I know at least one or two in Delhi, which uh, you know probably turn out more PhDs than IIT Delhi does in computer science. The thing is that that nobody ever looks at them for faculty. We even for 
quite uh, not even. We don't look at the faculty things. I'm sure there's some universities in, if not in this state, this has only the state has only four or five universities. But I'm sure in neighboring states there would be universities which would be churning out many many PhDs. Doesn't mean much. So for good quality researchers with PhD, the theater of operation is the globe, not India, and opportunities are. And that's why I always believe that research as a career is not meant for an average person. Not to deride an average person, but remember, everybody has a role to play. You know, there is need for engineers, there is need for doing that. But it is best if somebody has all those other abilities that I mentioned, foundations, desire to work hard, creativity, and then you are there, and things will happen. But you know, sometimes you see people just sort of get pushed into after B tech, you do something, then you get into PhD, and slowly, slowly. That's not a good route to take. Lot of uh, uh, conferences are happening in the field of computer science. Um, most of them are just we submit the paper and reviews and all. Not and we were they are publishing these papers in the IQ Play Expo or ICM or Twitter, still like this. So, is a concern how, as part of academic uh, people, how we can uh, uh, straight talk? Can we do something? So, I think uh, most uh, better places in academia and world over and industry have, have started realizing what are good and what are not so good. So you may, you may say, I have 50 papers. So in fact, we had applications, 20 papers, 30 papers, and you look at where it is published. And sometimes all of them may be not given any ratings. Right? So therefore, I think the overall, through there are actual numbers also, but otherwise as, as perception and professional judgment, uh, conferences and journals have been, uh, in fact, there is a well-defined hierarchy now tier 1, tier 2 and below, right? And they define, if you go to the Australian ranking, they say A plus, A, then B, etc. So there is now ranking and all that has happened. But broadly there is this tiers defined and therefore people expect, people who really are taking their research and so on seriously will look at those. The rest is actually just a count on your CV which in many, many places uh, don't count. So the more sophisticated places are able to discern, but perhaps the place